Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss what is drug likeness. In our drug design and discovery process, <coughs> we need different uh, properties of compounds which uh, tells us that either our compound is drug like or not. So today we will discuss what are the, that properties and how we can predict or how we can check that properties that our compounds possesses. So the parameters of drug likeness uh, must contain different physicochemical properties that we study and pharmacokinetic properties and toxicity. So with the help of these three parameters we can sort out that either our compound is drug like or not so first of all we will discuss physicochemical properties or molecular descriptors so what are the molecular descriptors that is formula that what kind of atoms are present in our compound like carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen and uh, what is the number of atoms in that compound then molecular weight it uh, also matters that what is the molecular weight of our compound so we will discuss later on that what will, what will be the ideal condition or ideal molecular weight for a compound to be a drug like number of heavy atoms number of aromatic heavy atoms number of rotatable bonds number of hydrogen bond donors number of hydrogen bond acceptors so we will discuss these properties in detail in next slides but here I would like to explain that uh, I have most of the students know that what is number of hydrogen bond donors so hydrogen bond donors are that uh, elements are which uh, which are attached with hydrogen like nitrogen attached with hydrogen and oxygen attached with hydrogen so these are the uh, hydrogen bond donor atoms and the number of hydrogen bond acceptor atoms so that atom which are going to make hydrogen bonding with lone pair these are the electronegative atoms like nitrogen and oxygen so these are the hydrogen bond acceptor atoms then molar refractivity and uh, polar surface area and octanol water partition coefficient which is log p o w so we will discuss these properties one by one before this we should know that for drug like this the Lipinski's rule of five is important so there are some other rules as well like MDDR like rule or CMC like rule but Lipinski's rule of five is more most important and uh, our compounds should observe this these rules uh, to be a drug like so what are the uh, these rules Molecular weight should be less than or equal to 500 gram per mole or Dalton for a compound to be a drug like. Log P, log P is the octanol water partition coefficient. It is also log P O W. It should be less than or equal to 5. Hydrogen bond donors, hydrogen bond donors like NH, OH, they should be less than or equal to 5. Hydrogen bond acceptor atoms these are uh, alone nitrogen or oxygen or fluorine and they should be less than or equal to 10 rotatable bonds rotatable bonds should be less than or equal to 10 so in uh, the more most of the cases when you observe when you study Lipinski rule of 5 it only uh, tells us about molecular weight octanol water partition coefficient hydrogen bond donor and acceptors uh, and in some cases you will also observe that rotatable bonds are also uh, 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 also given in some literature that uh, rotatable bonds should not be less than or equal to 10 so compound must obey this rule of 5 to, to be a drug like so these are the uh, all these parameters are in multiple of 5 or 5 so the range of number of atoms in a compound uh, must be 20 to 70 so in between 20 to 70 atoms are most likely to be drug like compounds heavy atoms so we use the term heavy atom in our previous slide 
So what is heavy atom? It refers to any atom that is not hydrogen atom. So other than hydrogen atoms are all heavy atoms like carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, etc. And for ideal case, the heavy atoms should be 3 to 12 uh, for a drug like compound, which should be a ideal. Rotatable bonds. Any single non-ring bond attached to a non-terminal non-hydrogen atom. So the any bond that is a rotatable bond that is a, a, a terminal bond and it will be a single bond but not a, a not a atom which is bonded with hydrogen atom like uh, in methyl group when carbon is bonded with hydrogen so three hydrogen atoms so that will that three bonds will not be considered as a rotatable bond but methyl group attached with some other like nitrogen or some other carbon, it will be considered as a rotatable bond. So amide bond is also non-rotatable bond because it cannot rotate. Uh, and uh, for drug-like compounds, uh, rotatable bond should be less than or equal to 10. Molar refractivity. Molar refractivity is actually the molar volume corrected by the refractive index. It represents size and polarizability of a fragment or molecule. So it represents that our compound is how polarizable or it has how much it has ability to polarize other uh, molecules or atoms. So the range is between 40 to 130 and it is best for drug like compound. Polar surface area. For polar surface area. So it is the combined surface area belonging to oxygen and nitrogen atoms and hydrogen atoms bound to these electronegative atoms. So it means the polar bonds like, like nitrogen and oxygen which are bonded to uh, itself to hydrogen are uh, like hydrogen that the compounds which are which makes hydrogen bonding like the uh, NHOH hydrogen bond donors and acceptors so these these make polar surface area of the molecule or compound so these are the polar in nature polar bonds polar in nature elements these are most electronegative elements so they make polar surface area of the molecule so also the topological polar surface area which is TPSA measures the ability of a drug to permeate cell membrane so it is also important that how our compound is permeable to cell membrane so the polar surface if the polar surface area is more then permeability will be decreased for drug like compound polar surface area should not exceed 140 square angstrom so it is it should be less than or equal to 140 angstrom square lipophilicity it is octane whole water partition coefficient or log pow it is more important so it is it, it represents lipophilicity lipophilicity of our compound or drug it is also known as octanol water partition coefficient so that determines the lipophilicity of molecules more log p value means more soluble in organic phase and it is more uh, permeable to membranes so less less log p value means more water soluble so to be a drug like so the compounds log p value should be in the range of 0 0.5 to 5 so less than or uh, equal to 5 is suitable for a compound to be a drug like and it also uh, uh, it also in indicate indicates that our compound is following lipinski's rule of 5 which represents that log p o w should be less than 5 skin permeability it is represented with log k p value so the skin permeability defines the rate of a chemical penetrating across the stratum corneum. So this value is widely used to quantitatively describe the transport of molecule in outermost layer of epidermal skin and indicates the significance of skin absorption. So the compound is more skin permeable then it will be distributed inside our body more easily. Pharmacokinetics now these this terminology is explained in our previous lectures that uh, what are what is the atomy profile and how we can determine it so it is actually the absorption distribution metabolism and excretion and uh, for this the parameters which explain 
the parameters which explain best uh, pharmacokinetic properties are water solubility which is log s value or uh, we can also say that the uh, uh, buffer solubility so we will uh, explain these uh, these type of uh, parameters in our next videos so that how we can calculate that buffer solubility and water solubility oral absorption gastrointestinal absorption which is also known as human intestinal absorption in some cases it is represented as hia human intestinal absorption bbb that is blood brain barrier permeant that either our compound is uh, passing the blood brain barrier or not pgp substrate which is p glycoprotein substrate so when our compound binds with pgp and uh, it will be distributed and uh, it will be uh, distributed and metabolized easily cytochrome inhibitors if our compound is inhibiting cytochromes that it will not be metabolized and it will cause problem and it will be it will remain more time in our body and it will create problems uh, of our lung uh, of our kidneys and so log kp so log kp is the skin permeability so uh, these are the parameters which also represents the pharmacokinetic properties and uh, uh, by these parameters we can predict that our compound is drug like or not toxicity so toxicity is the major parameter that also describes that our compound is drug like or not the most important one is the mutagenicity uh, which is also represented in some cases ME's mutagenicity test so ME's test is most important in uh, determining the compound is toxic toxic uh, toxicant or it is carcinogenic or not so the second one is uh, human etheragogo uh, related gene inhibition it is actually the uh, gene which produces potassium ion channels and potassium ion channels inhibition may causes the cardiac problems or cardiac arrest if these are our compounds are inhibitor of potassium ion channels then they cause cardiac arrest and heart attack may occur oral rat ld50 so oral rat ld50 is the lethal dose 50 the compound uh, which the concentration of the compounds which causes 50 percent death of rats so uh, in this way we measure so we will make a video on this in our next uh, videos then fat head me now that is lc50 it is the lethal concentration 50 and developmental toxicity developmental toxicity is the toxicity uh, which causes uh, which inhibition of growth and development inside the placenta or inside the womb like uh, uh, when the embryo is developing or when our body is development so it causes the toxic effect on that kind of uh, uh, babies or that kind of bodies so online web servers we have different online servers available through which we can determine all these parameters that we discussed above so the first one is the mole inspiration so mole inspiration is you can be used it uses smiley's file like here we have uh, it, it is the smiley's file of this compound and we can draw our compound and then we can check the physicochemical properties like here um, log p value polar surface area number of atoms molecular weight number of hydrogen bonds and hydrogen bond donor and acceptors and so on and violations of Lipinski and rotatable bonds and volume of our compound so these parameters and for some other parameters we can use pre-admit so pre-admit is also a very good tool which can be used for drug likeness prediction so it it predicts Lipinski rule of five either our compound is violating this rule or not lead like rule uh, drug db like rule or drug like rule so on these parameters it predicts our compound then add me prediction it is in uh, a separate folder a separate we, we we observe that it is a blood brain barrier permeant or it is cocoa 2 inhibitor or it, it is human intestinal absorption plasma protein binding and skin permeability so these parameters will can be checked by this uh, prediction tool and then toxicity prediction tool by toxicity prediction 
we can predict predict ME's test and rodent carcinogenity test and so on so this is uh, also an important tool which uh, uh, measures most of the properties of our compounds and then uh, Swiss Admi. So Swiss Admi is also an important uh, online web server uh, which uh, mostly gives uh, physicochemical properties of our compounds which gives number of rotatable bonds, hydrogen bond donors, acceptors, uh, heavy atoms, aromatic heavy atoms, molar refractivity, polar surface area and then lipophilicity that is log POW with different uh, algorithms are the methods uh, through which it is measured and then consensus log POW which is the consensus of all these above. Then gastrointestinal absorption and blood brain barrier permeate or not that is PGP substrate and then these are the cytochromes so if our compound is cytochrome inhibitor or not so it represents that uh, our compound is not the cytochrome inhibitor here is the smiley's file of our compound and uh, in our next video we will show you that how we can use these tools by using different files or uh, 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 structure of our compound or smiley's file log kp which gives skin permeation skin permeation centimeters per second then lipinski's rule of five goose Weber, and these are other rules and bioavailability it is 0.55 then these are the lead likeness either it is our lead like or not so it is not lead like because it is violating one rule which is molecular weight should be less than 250 so in lead like rule synthetic accessibility it is 2.87 so these are the different softwares or tools and uh, we will also discuss another software which also uh, dis uh, which also measures ld50 that is toxicity estimation software tool so we will make uh, a separate video on that uh, software which is test which is toxicity estimation software tool and it has different parameters and it discuss uh, environmental toxicity and some other toxic effects of the compound so we will make another video on that so in future we are going to make two more videos on this these drug likeness of the compounds and how we can use different tools to predict physicochemical properties, admit properties and toxicity of our compounds. So thanks for watching my video. Allah Hafiz.